Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Folake Laude, aka FK. On today's episode, we will be exploring Isaleko, Lagos, Nigeria. And yeah, we'll be touching some historical and sacred places, the palaces, what each palace head represents in Isaleko, the traditions of Isaleko, Lagos, uh, the festivals, the lifestyle, and uh, the traditional chiefs, the Dejos, white cap chiefs, the Ogala days. As you see us now, this is Baba Sunday. Inuga. Iga. Is just like a representative of each branches. The one belongs to a particular place. Like the Mashe Ogushe one, the let's say, Oba Palace. For example, now, Asakwe Iga Eletu Odibo. We all know that Eletu Odibo is the Prime Minister of all the Oloe. And not forgetting the palace of Obariluan, Akiolu, Kabie Sio, etc. Before we go on, I'd like to make a special shout out to someone special, someone who has been a very, very, very important part of this project all through my back and forth to Saleko, from the Saleko World Festival to down to this moment, he had been helpful. Anytime I put a call through to Alaji, out of his busy schedule, he's always available for me. When I tell him I am coming to shoot my videos, he tell me, just calm down. I am dedicating this video specially to you. Thank you so much, Alaji. So, what are you waiting for? Follow my journey and let's explore in Saleko together. I need four class of uh, chief. One is Dejo. The Dejo, they are the landowner. They can become a king in their respective uh, land. Just like they are Oloye in Isale, in the island. They have the right one, the government has been set the upper ship for them. They, like, talk of Oniru, Elegushi. If you see, there is one song from a lefty salami. It says, Oloye Mokon La, Ide Joni, Oni Megon, Ide Joni, Oloye Oniru, Ide Joni, Oloye Onitano. All these people, they have land. They go there and become the king. They yeah, the land. land, exactly. We have Akari Bere. Akari Bere, they are more like, a, let's say, minister or commissioner in their area. Which, Leto uh, Dibu, is the prime minister because he's the one that used to install the king. I will talk of Akari Bere. We have a little Odibo, a little Iwashe, a little Ijebu, a little Adodo, a little Atebo, a little Agon, they are Akari Bere. And also, you talk of uh, uh, Ababo, they are warrior, and their leader is Ashobo. Yeah, no, I think we have been to the the palace of Ashobo. <laughs> Call of Ashobo, Bajulu, uh, Bajulaye, uh, Ayomoso, Saba, Osho di Tapa. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Yes, yes now. It's one, it's one, it's one, it's one of the sheep that follow. Yes, you showed it. It's one of the sheep that followed Oba Kosoko to Ekpe. Osho Dioko, we call this Osho Dioko. Yeah, this Osho Dile. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Four category of sheep. You take your Akari Bere, Abago, and Ogalade. The Ogalades, they are more of like, like a traditional leader, traditional worshipper. Let's talk of where you are now. The other thing is that you are a woman, a woman, a woman, a woman. You know, they believe me. If there is anything, being the Tanjana worshiper, anything you can say, you can go to the first place. You can go to the first place. Because if I can mention some of the, the sheep within that category. That's uh, Ogalade. They have Obanikoro, Okpelua. There are many of them. Yeah, which means if there is no Eletu Odibo, there won't be king because he's the one, he's the traditional minister to crown the hover at Enwawa. Okay, Enwawa is the place, is the place the where they crown the king. How about the you know. It looks like it belongs to, you know, uh, uh, a little Iwashe because they have their, their shrine there. Yes, they have their shrine there. So, uh, if there is any king want to insult a little Iwashe, he will sit down on his, on his own. Yeah, they will come with the with the with the seat. The seat will be quite different from the other other sheep. Ah, because of this title, you mm, washer. Because what do you mean by washer? The origin. You will not follow them to the palace. You don't go back to the own palace. So is it that he and the king doesn't see her? No, no, no. That's the procedure. For example, now, if any of the chief, you know, they still have to do the same thing. But if any of the chief want to be insulted, it's not like taking them to an hour. No. Maybe like a dead job. The head of the dead job is so remember. So they used to crown the sheep in his palace before they now introduce them to the to the other. They will take them to the other. Now though they go to uh, what they call it Enowa, all the places that they used to, you know, like the head. Exactly. They have to go there before they now go to the to the palace. Let King's mother is from that family. 
and also in the late king's son is the presence Bajulaye in that palace. That's why you see the status of the like Oloma Wewe family, where I belong to. That's where the car uh, Olori Onishegu of Lagos, where they do Antinenta. But the title is for the, the for the for the family, not, not for any side. Of course, it's a peaceful place where we used to observe many things. We talk of Galende Festival, you talk of Eyo, which is the whole Lagos Island. Eyo. And we have about five, we call, we call them five uh, Osha Eyo, which is uh, Adimu Risha. Okolaba, Oniko, Ologede, and Angere. We all do witness all this in the long because before the year you can come out, all this, uh, the Osha that I just mentioned, they have to come out with the sick, we call it Opa, Akopa, all those rich people, they will go to the governors all the rich people within the, the state. This show that the Ayo is coming in particular day. Without that, Ayo cannot come out. The, the Opa have to come out first before Ayo come out. What we're really into is Ayo and Galende. Because at the front of Onilek uh, Bale Palace, that's where these Galendes used to, to dance. At times, they would go to Obaniko Palace. Apart from that, let's say the 1st of January, we do Saliko Waro. You see, in Saliko, we are not much of a gungun. If you talk of uh, Okekoko site, that's where they have all this shine of uh, Egungu and Igunu. Although they used to come to this and have some little Egungu few shine within the community, but if you go to uh, Tokumbo, Okekoko, uh, Karen, all those places. <laughs> That we are. You see, at your festival, you have to place it on a dead person. It might be a rich, like for example, the Elegushi or uh, Oneru, the last one, the, the, the late Oneru. They have to attach that particular festival to the dead. He needs. He needs. <laughs> So they can't just do it. All the igas, the palace, they have their own ayos. All the ayos have to come out. But they will come out in the category, the way. For example, the first ayos that will come out is Adimu Risha, followed by Okolaba, followed by Oniko, followed by Ologede, followed by Alain Gere. The rest won't. Those people come and the rest will come out from their okay, palaces. They have got up from all these palaces. Don't discriminate in, uh, on Lagos Island. That's why majority of them they belong to Lagos Central Mall or Alal Central Mall. 
we talk of Shita Bay, you know, they have Shita Bay malls at uh, Martin Street there. No, those are the members of the Illo Committee. Okay, who are the Illo Committee? The Illo Committee, they are the people that okay. meet together, came together to fight for the betterment of the people on island there. Erolu Kuti is a sister to Akin Shemoyi, according to this, which gave birth to Shokun and Kutere. The presence of our of Lagos now, the oriness of Akin and Akinolu, if I'm Kutere family. You know, most of the Shokun that belong to Ogboni Idun Tafa, which they call Oni Legbale. Erolu Kuti is the strong woman within the community. That's right.